Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of Up Close with Lauren Show and Tell. I'm actually laughing because it's a surprise for me. So I bought this um, used. Um, so I thought it's actually open, but it's actually sealed. It is still sealed. It's brand new, mint in box. So I was thinking of reviewing this, taking it out of the box. I have my characters down here so that they can actually get into the car and what have you. Um, but uh, I think I'm gonna just do an inbox review of it. <laughs> so this is the one that is made by Mattel uh, from years back. I didn't get the chance to buy this um, back in the day because if I can remember it right, this cost $100 then. Um, and I said, oh, it's all plastic and what have you. And But it's pretty nice. And the reason why I bought this uh, is because the McFarlane Toys action figures, um, the classic 66 Batman line, I'm still looking for, for my Robin up to now. So this fits perfectly in this car. So it's more scaled to this action figure than it is to... The McFarlane Batmobile that he released um, a year ago, I think, yeah, a year ago. So, this one scales better. <laughs> Sorry, I have to do it like this. Scales better to this Batmobile than it is to the one that he made. And I guess it's supposed to be that way. Um, a bit more kind of uh, funny, you know. But, yeah, the detail on this car, I will reverse the camera. I have a Batmobile collection and most of it, they're all in the bins, downstairs in the garage, and I don't have, I didn't get the chance to take them out and arrange them and sort them out, but this is just plainly amazing. Sorry for all of the reflection. But the detail on this car is just amazing. It's all plastic, yes, but it is still pretty good. So this is just a comparison from the Batman Batmobile. So that 66 Batman for sure is a lot longer and bigger and here's a size comparison to my newly reviewed RC of Justice League the Batmobile and you can see the size difference of these three vehicles it's like small medium and large right folks so this short vlog ends here my friends I am very sorry but again like I said a while ago I was planning on reviewing this because I thought it was already um, open but it's still mint in box and I want to keep it that way so I hope you guys don't mind this odd review this odd inbox review uh, but anyway um, it's an awesome awesome piece if you get a chance to get one I would actually advise you to get one to grab one because it's totally money's worth like what do you should say always be kind to yourself always be kind to other people love your toys love your collection no matter what they are until the next episode see ya